I'm here with John Allen from Kite, who's written a report and he's going to tell us all about it. Right, okay, well thanks very much. The, uh, in terms of what, we've, uh, what we're saying, it's a vision looking forward for the next 20, uh, 10 years to 2030. We think it's a really important time to look forward. Uh, the reason being that the world is changing quite dramatically yeah. and in particular we're very sensitive to all the pressures coming from the environmental movements, mm. the whole vegan debate and all of that. And so from our perspective, what we wanted to do is to look forward and see what the dairy industry could do in terms of delivering on its environmental license to operate in the next 10 years. What we have identified as a working group is that actually we think that we can reduce our environmental footprint in the next 10 years by around 30%, which is a massive uh, contribution, we think, to what society wants, which will give people the permission to carry on consuming dairy with peace of mind. 30%, that is a big number. Can you tell us a little bit how, how people are going to get that into that number? Yeah, the, actually... I, one of the biggest areas that we think is going to be able to deliver that improvement and reduction in emissions is going to be through the genetics piece. Oh. The genetics that we're seeing coming down the line with all the new innovations, with sex semen, with um, uh, the whole genome uh, issues, we can put now far more pressure, suction pressure on the female line as well as the male line. We can increase our genetic gain, we think, from classically one and a half, two percent per annum to probably three to four percent. And that makes a massive difference. And coming down the line, we understand we're also looking at uh, developments in terms of mapping the genome in terms of feed conversion efficiency, which yeah. will be a massive step forward for the industry. And that means more from less. So really a very positive report. Yeah, we did. It is because I think that it's important that we as an industry, we can produce the same amount of milk, we think, in 10 years' time, 15 billion litres from 500,000 less cows in the UK. And if that's what society wants, we can deliver it. And it, in that obviously is the messaging we're getting coming out of the Committee on Climate Change and others. But it gives us the licence to operate, certainly in the UK. That's been fantastic to hear that. So it's all good news. Thank you very much.